Okay, we've used uh, molecular modelling kits to um, to make up models of some hydrocarbons, and the one we're going to take a look at here is um, is propane. Um, we've seen what its three-dimensional structure looks like, and we've also learned to draw structural formulae. Now, what I'd like to do is show you how we can use ChemSketch to do exactly the same thing. And you can do this. The wonder of this is that you can do it in the comfort of your own home. You don't even need to come to school, which is good for both of us, really, when I think about it. Here we go. Got ChemSketch going. Get rid of all these little tips. We're going to go for the normal drawing tool, and we've selected carbon. So um, if I just left click and then drag with the mouse, put another carbon atom in, and then put another one in. There we go, we've got a propane molecule, but it's not the full structural formula. Uh, to get the full structural formula, we'll come down to where it says add explicit hydrogens. There we go, and that's a bit more like, it's a bit, it's a bit squinty, but if you take care, um, you'll get a nice looking molecule. Now, um, we can save that molecule um, so that we can insert it into documents like PowerPoint. So we'll go to File, Save As, I'll call it Propane, not too original. And we're going to save it as a GIF file. If we save it as a GIF file, it means that we can insert it into documents. And I'll save it on my desktop, there we go. Just haven't already done that one, so it's gone. It's fine. So we've saved that um, as a picture that we can put into documents. Now, we also want to get the 3D um, picture of it. So we'll go to Tools, and we'll come down to 3D Structure. Leave all the hydrogens in there. Yeah, now that's that's the three-dimensional representation in two dimensions, which we should be familiar with by now. Now we'll flip that into the 3D view. There we go. Uh, don't like that black background, so I'm going to go for options, colors, and personally I like a white background. So there we go. But you. You get um, creative, get artistic, do whatever the heck you like. Um, now we can visualise this um, in any way, really. Um, I personally prefer the, uh, the space balls. It's got a good look. There we go, there's a nice propane molecule. And we'll also save that file, save as. Um, we'll call this propane 3D. And we'll save it as a GIF image. Now, oh, no, we could also save it, as, save it as an animated GIF, which would give us that little spinning molecule thing, which also looks quite good in documents. But we'll keep it simple just now, I think. And we'll save that on the desktop. There we go. That's how to make, um, use ChemSketch to give you um, a structural formula and also to give you a three-dimensional picture of the molecule.